All right, so I was talking about vintage reels in my last short, so I'm going to talk about my South Bend 730A. Last time I looked up, this was made in Japan. Relatively nice reel, actually. It sticks a little bit, but a little bit WD-40 gets out of the way. It's got the anti-reverse and the normal. It's not quite instant, but it's close to instant. The bail opens like a normal bail. You cast, you can reel. You have to be careful, though, because... On multiple occasions, it'll do that. And that's just when it misses the little piece. Um, the gear ratio on this is actually pretty good. I don't know the exact one at the moment, but I have taken it out to catch trout and perch. And I've gotten the perch in in almost four reels. And that's with them being about six foot to a meter from me. And then the trout took a little bit longer, and that was me reeling like that. But it's also a trout. The drag works good. It's a bit loud. Granted, though, you're going to hear that if the fish takes off. Nope, the line came out of the thing. Um, I believe they come in a couple different colors. I just have the green one. I found it at a pawn shop. I got it for 20 bucks. If you have to work on it, you can... I actually think this pops off. It does. You just force the reel back and it pops off. And then you take this off to get into all the gears to work on it. I'm not going to take that off right now just because that would be a bit more work than I plan on trying to do with this right at the moment. And then you just reel it back on. It's honestly a really good reel. I've caught a lot of fish on this. Cast good. Goes very well with 8 pound test. And probably catch you just about anything you need to. From what I was reading, it is originally a surf rod. Or surf reel. I was just checking it out. Out of all of them, this one's probably one of the easier for most people to get into extremely easy to fix too i mean just tighten that bolt and you're good um the next video i'm going to be doing on is the mitchell 303